Hello. Hello. Um, this is our new product. Um, we decided that we wanted to launch it just before um, Halloween because we've got some uh, like Halloween parts to this set. Um, the concept is basically a kind of photo frame calendar um, house. Yeah, it's a good way to celebrate different holidays, different events kind of throughout the year, isn't it? So this, this we'll start the video by um, assembling the piece and then um, near the end you can see like what what it'll actually look like and how it works and what you do with it. Um, we decided not to paint it just so you can see how it comes. Uh, but then Lizzie's going to uh, give it a, a coat of paint afterwards just so you can see a, like a, finished, a finished version of it. Um, so yeah, let's get cracking. Um, we decided to glue on these two frames um, first, just to, uh, you know, speed up the process. Um, you actually get four frames that come with the set, just in case you decide you wanted to, um, like, glue on all the pieces. Um, you can use this spare frame as a way to guide your photos. But if you decide you don't like the look of, um, photos, um, with the frame in front of it, you could always just leave them off and... It won't obstruct your photos. There's some photos we made earlier. So yeah, um, I would personally, if you're going to, if you're going to um, glue this, I would personally start with the main construction of 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 how of of, of the house, and then at at the uh, the window frames. Once you've put the the is it the shout out the window sills? Yeah, window the sills. window sills in. Um, the first step really is the door. That's kind of like the, the hardest part of the whole process. So what you want to take is this funky shape here, these two door hinges, and your door. Um, the first step is to just get a bit of glue. I'm using just a simple wood glue and a brush that I don't like. You can use like a glue spreader or um, coffee stirring sticks are pretty good for yeah. putting glue on as well, aren't they? Yeah, that's really good. So yeah, I just paint on the glue on these parts where the wood is going to meet. Just make sure you don't get any glue inside this hole. That's where the door hinge is going to pivot the door. And if you do that, you get glue in there and you glue it in, and you put your door in, you're going to glue it permanently, permanently shut. So, you take your piece, you grab your, um, your like door frame, door plate, kind of thing, door plate and you want to try and put it in, into the small gap, and then thread it around into the square hole, and then poke it through. Then the next stage is to paint the front of your plate. Um, you glue, you glue the plate first. Ah, oh, okay. I've learned something new as well. You want to make sure that you don't glue both hinges. So if you glue them in place, you won't be able to get your door on. So you got to make sure you get them in this order for it to work. See, as you've designed so many things with different doors on, like our fairy doors and like our trick or treat door, you know about that better than I do. I'm glad that you're doing most of the construction. <laughs> so then you take your front plate of the house and you thread that square uh, through the through the gap again, like you did with the first piece. And then you're going to glue that piece, that plate to the back of the door. You want to make sure that the um, the thicker part is at the bottom and the thinner part is at the top. And then, yeah, just get a peg or something and just like pop it in the middle, pop it on the ends maybe. And that, that should definitely secure it properly. Then you're going to take your other peg and do the same process as the first one. Pop glue in the middle around these 
on the edges of this peg. But not inside the hole. And then what you do, very carefully, you will get you will get glue on your fingers. What you do, you hold your your door just in your palm, and then just use your index finger just to kind of position this. Thread it around by putting the door in the hole. And it's a little fiddly. Yeah, wrench up. Can be a little fiddly. There we go. I'm in. So we just turn it over and just make sure it slots into its hole. There we go. And that's in. And then your door will hinge. Very nicely. The next step is popping the popping the front and back plate to the base. So what you need to do is to make sure that you have the base um, arranged the right way. But the pegs on the front and back plates are actually different. So it's it's quite it's 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 designed so you can't really mess it up really. Repeat the edges. I'm not going to paint around this one because that's very close to the photo frame. I just don't want to... Very close to the photo slot. So I don't really want to uh, get that wrong. So you're basically painting like the edge of the peg and kind of the bits that touch the base, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. And I'll paint the sides of the pegs as well. And the good thing with a lot of these wood glues is that they do dry kind of clear, and once you've got a bit of paint on it as well, like you won't notice if you've got a little bit of glue kind yeah. of out of place with you. You can always sand off extra bits as well. Almost wipe it off with your finger and just rub it off. Okay. So I'll just position that into the holes at the back. Just press down. Then we do the same with the, the front plate. Try to hold it up for me. Of course I will. Just hold it up like that. Just hold it up like that. That'd be lovely. You don't always need two hands to, to do our craft projects, but sometimes it's nice to have a bit of help, isn't it? Yeah, just be aware that you're not painting the door. So I just leave a small, a small gap of paint, a small gap, a small abscess of paint. So you're not. Of the glue, isn't it? For the yeah, so you don't really glue the door shut, and that's all. That's kind of the most important part of this, is that you, you don't glue the door shut. Everything else, you kind of get away with. Yeah, I do. There we are. This bit's a little tricky, and it's quite worth, it's, it's worth trying to get both layers glued on and in the, in their holes as fast as possible, because you do need that extra bit of wiggle room when placing the door. Yeah. So what I need to do is pull this base out and align the back of these door um, these door hinges into this hole. So what you can do, you can just you can just place them in and then separate the, the layers as needed. And it is, it can be a little tricky, and I've just taken both out. So why don't I glue them personally? It can be a bit messy. I mean, 
you could leave the glue off potentially, couldn't you? Yeah. So that it can be taken down again. That's true. Um, and flat packed. But we're choosing to glue it because we're going to keep our zep all year round, aren't we? Yeah. And like Ben said, it's it's a little bit fiddly to get it started, but once it's done, you kind of you don't have to do it again. It's it's sorted then yeah. for kind of the life of the canvas. So my front's in, but my back isn't. <laughs> Can we hold this? Tell you what, let's turn it upside down. See, that's the trouble. I've got glue between the layers. That's why you got to be careful. The nice thing about this being a new design as well is we're putting it together properly for the first time kind of on camera and it kind of gives us an idea of what to point out not to do as well. Yeah, we, we can kind of make make the errors and point out what, what we don't want you to do as we're doing it, can't we? <laughs> yeah. Here we go. We're in. Fantastic. Yeah, flip over. Make sure they're both resting. So one thing that's worth noting is that the, the gaps between the layers is slightly thicker than four mil so you're not going to have um you're not going to have the back layer and the um the middle plate of the door completely touching there is going to be a little bit of separation and that's what these little h pieces are for and what, what i do is uh they're going to go in these three oops, not, not, not on camera they're going to go in these three points just to give the house some more separation. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of glue. And what you wanna do is paint all around the edges. Doesn't matter if you get it on the front. Would you like me to do those other two while you Yes, please. Put in? Yeah, no problem. Do so the middle one first. So it just slots into this hole. And then we take the second one. Fingers. There you mm -hmm. go. Thank you. Enough glue? Yeah, it's perfect. And then we take these long chimney pieces. You want to make sure that you have the right side. Because as you can see, the, 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 the back layer has these ridges and the front layer doesn't. Make sure you arrange it. So it's flat. So it's so the flat side faces the right side. Like so. And now it's stuck. <laughs> Fits that well. Yeah. There we are. And would you pop a bit of glue on some of those as well, please? Of course I will. You definitely don't use fast drying glue. <laughs> That's the flexibility of like the wood glue, isn't it? That quite often You've got a little bit of the way that you can sort of jiggle things around until they're they're just about right because it, it it's not an instantaneous set, is it? It's, no. You you have got a little bit of flexibility to have a bit of wiggle. So yeah, just glue around all the pegs where they where they're going to slot into the front. So that's the last one. That's one of the real advantages of us being kind of the family business, isn't it? That you know you you design and you can show exactly how we put it together. Yeah. So yeah, we've got all our finders um, clipped on and then we just wiggle it around so everything fits. 
it's going to take a little a little wiggling because you've got a lot of pieces that want to find their way home. Keep on wanting to make popular media references, but I've realised that we can't because we'll get copyrighted. But think about finding your way home and aliens, and you'll get what I was going for. I'm sure, I can mention it. It's not don't sell. I think the problem is you sell if you sell a product. Uh -huh. You don't make money. Also, nobody wants to hear my terrible impression. So. <laughs> I, I do. <laughs> See, I told you no one wanted to hear that. <laughs> there we go. We're slotting in nicely. Now this one's just a little... There we go. So there we are. We have all our pieces glued nicely. Uh, the next step is to take your, um, your shelves and these will slot into the, the front and you just gotta wiggle them around so they go right through the middle. You can glue these if you'd like, but just for speed, I'm just gonna wiggle them in. And the great thing is, you can make sure that they're not, uh, the great thing is, if you, um, if you push them in too much, you're going to, you're going to bow the middle in and it means that your photos or your um, other layers won't slide into the sides. So the the, the best uh, the, the best method I've used is um, sorry I've designed it so that if the back of the um, of of the window sills are flush with the back layer, then you shouldn't have any bowing. I think realistically, not gluing, especially the middle ones, is probably your best bet. Just so you don't get a great deal of just so you don't glue it bowed and it's permanently fixed. But um, that's that's why I would kind of recommend, really. So here we are. We've got quite a nice looking house coming along. Um, the next stage is to take your roof and cover all those hidden pegs. So yeah, if, you, if uh, you'd be so kind to so glue, glue it up. And whilst the glue is being put on, we have um, a system for the door um, where you have these two pegs in the front door and your sign can pop on and off. So if I grab these two pieces from other parts of the set, you can slot in your door number and then that should just stay in without any glue. It will probably fall off if like a cat knocks it off or it bull mastiff. Or, a bull, so or a bull mastiff with a cone but um the idea is it you don't glue these on they can be popped in and they can change depending on your holiday or your event or the season or if you move houses as well i guess well, if you move houses yeah you could change the change your number There we go. I do recommend gluing on the the roof just so you can cover all those all those pegs that you just uh, aligned beautifully. It's kind of a shame to cover all that sort of hard work of engineering, isn't it? But it does give it a more finished look. Yeah, I mean, look at that. It's beautiful. So we just move that. If I do say so myself. <laughs> <laughs> modesty, isn't Mo it? Yeah, great at modesty. It is beautiful though, like, I really like it. What I've managed to do, I've I've taken the um I've taken a piece off a different design. I forgot to scale it. So the the uh the final piece will actually uh the final piece will actually come in four mil, it'll probably be a tiny bit larger than this. But I'll just use this set. Thank you for finding that. You're welcome. So yeah, I'll just use this one from a different set as an example. We're so keen to kind of launch this 
so that there's time to order it for Halloween, aren't we? Yeah, it's not going to take me long to change the design on um, all of you. It's just, it's just a matter of adding a an extra quarter of of whatever the material thickness is. So yeah, I'll just wipe that off because that's going to be on the front. And then I paint the back. Remove the beard hair from the glue. <laughs> <laughs> I don't well, really want a beard hair in my house. I mean, welcome to to our life. It's either my hair, your hair, dog hair, cat hair. Here we go. I'm going to take this piece and just pop it behind the door, just so it keeps it keeps it attached. And then, yeah, we'll just just so it keeps it level because it's prone to uh it's prone to um shutting too much into the house but um when you have a photo behind it it's not that problem and it's, it's it's not really difficult to like poke it out with the door handle like you will just be able to open it up and be fine so we go after <laughs> so the um the actual door handle for the for the final kit will actually will come with a matching a matching, MDF. a matching MDF doorknob, and it'll probably be a slightly bit bigger. Probably be slightly bit bigger than this, than this one. So there we are. That's the, kind of like the main construction of the house. Um, the next part really is to just add your um, add your bricks. So if I grab that paintbrush, this brick is kind of designed specifically to go next to the door and it's up to you if you want to it's up to you if you want to put it on here because it will it will stop your door from opening all the way um it doesn't open all the way anyway but it stops it from opening probably about Quite five it's, it's, it's probably about five degrees difference from all the way or with it or having it with the brick so it really does depend what you'd rather but you're not really going to notice, if I'm totally honest. So yeah, that just slides there. You just use the base as your guide, line it up with the back. Again, it's kind of it's kind of like the roof, isn't it? That like you can get away without having it, but it does give it that more finished look. Yeah. Oops. And then there are other brick pieces within the kit, so that you can put them on kind of where you want to, isn't that? Basically, yeah. Yeah. Do you want to grab a couple of bricks and Thank you. help me brick? Ooh, let me grab another paintbrush. Where should I pop this one? I'll pop that one. Hmm. I'll pop that one here. That's also the good thing about being in, in the barn constructing is that We've got some things kind of to hand, haven't we? Yeah. We recommend getting all your equipment <laughs> ready before you start, but said this is the first time that we're kind of gluing it together to show you because we're really keen to launch it. And uh, we're making the mistakes so you don't have to. Yeah. Where would you like this prick, my love? I'll pop this one here because that's not going to get in your way if you decide to put a frame there. There we go. Put right it. here. Right here? Yeah, that'd be nice. It's quite a nice, like, family project, isn't it? You could get yeah. everybody involved. And imagine painting bits with the kids would be quite fun. How would you like that? Um, hmm. I don't know. How about someone like, yeah? Yeah. It's my eyebrows. Happy? Lovely. And then we've got two more. I mean, you don't have to put them all on. Yeah. You don't want to. Pop them where you want. Don't have to put any on. 
There's the sun and not putting any on. Put another one there. I'm gonna put my zigzaggy one up here. Yeah. And then Ben can put the last one on. Just because I love you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I'll pop that around here. Lovely. Oh, that's really cute. So there we go. That's the the, the construction uh, complete. We're going to show you kind of the bits that come with it and the kind of like the decorations and embellishments to really make it special yeah so ben showed you earlier that we have um sections with photographs mm -hmm. um we've prepared two photographs we've got this one and we've got that one um we're going to show you what it looks like with a frame so we kind of picked one that sort of works with a window frame in front of it and these sections slide in just like that you can see beautiful sashi and then if you didn't want to put a window frame on or you had a photo that didn't quite work with a window frame, that's what we're going to show you at the bottom. Lovely. So yeah, they come, we, we, uh, the, the set comes with five of these uh, like blank window frames, um, specifically designed so you can put photos on them. Um, we're going to sell um, a separate pack of these ones and our um, our door frame ones. So if you look underneath, probably would have noticed when you constructed it, that large hole in the bottom. Oh, we just lost a photo frame <laughs> up in the roof. Yeah, be careful you don't turn upside down. I think you put you put the door photo in before you put any kind of. Yeah. I mean, like they're they're really easy to get in and out, aren't they? Like yeah. you can kind of hold onto the front end. So we like open the door. And where's our door? Uh, here it is open the door and you just slot it into the bottom like so oops and then here we are and you get two of those don't you yeah you get two of those and then five of the window ones and it's it's really clear what you need to do because we've marked kind of on the back this is the door photo do the photo on the back yeah sorted so you've got the photo sections, uh, there are also different celebrations, so if we leave the photo section in for the minute, mm -hmm. and, and yeah, we'll tip it that way, we can show you kind of uh, what you'll get for each celebration. So we've not cut it from MDF yet, but uh, we're going to put a little pumpkin on the front for Halloween. Just like you did with the removable balloons and stuff. And then you have our three plates for the windows. So we'll slot in the pumpkin and the ghost. I've positioned these so that they should fit around, around your, um, around your window frames if you decide to pop them in. And just to position it, all you need to do is just pop your fingers through the windows and you can just give it a little nudge here and there. Here's an idea of what it looks like without it. And again, you can layer that that window frame over the top, can't you? Oop, if I turn it the right way around. There we go. And then um, you've got a spare window frame in your kit. That's what I've used to measure up my photographs. So it gives you a good kind of indication of the size that you need. It also gives you an idea of the placement of the photo within the frame. Yes, and also there's um, a chimney slot that's what you built a minute ago. And it lets you change out some funky chimney decorations. So we've got the witch for Halloween. And with this set also comes a Christmas selection. There'll be other sets coming to the website mm -hmm. um, that you can buy as kind of add-ons. Um, we've gone with Halloween and Christmas at the moment because they're the next two big celebrations that are coming up. Um, but yeah. we're, we're open to taking suggestions of celebrations that you'd like. We also have 
a birthday kit, we've got a Valentine's Day kit, uh, we're aiming to have a Mother's Day kit, and yeah, you can always pop us a message for a celebration that's special to you and we can see what we can do. Exactly. So with the with the Christmas kit, you get a folding, you get a collapsible snowman, you just slot two pieces together, and then he'll just stand up outside your house. You can position him wherever you like. You'll have a frame, uh, sorry, a frame, uh, a wreath with a circle piece to go on the back so you can hide that, uh, you can hide the door, the door holes. You'll also get some extra, um, like, bushes, but you can paint these white so it can look like snow, and that should just balance in front of your window, in front of your windowsills. So you can basically swap them out. Or if it's easier, you could paint one side, um, paint one side green and one side white and just flip it That's when, really when you need idea. it. Um, so yeah, here's the, the plates. We have some stockings. And the plates don't have to go in a particular place, do they? Because no, they're all designed can... the same way, so you can put whatever you want at the top, whatever you want at the bottom. Yep, you can even mix and match it. So you can pop, say, two Christmas, two Christmas pieces and a photo. You could even put like two Christmas pieces and a birthday or one Christmas piece of the birthday um, if someone's birthday happens around the holidays. And it's, it's completely flexible, isn't it? You can have all photos, you can have all celebrations, you can mix and match like Ben said. That's the beauty of this design is that we've made it as customizable as we possibly can. Yep. So if you have any ideas of what you'd like to see or what you'd like to include, just pop us a message or a comment and we'll be happy to take ideas and uh, and implement them. We also haven't mentioned these hanging loops. Oh yeah. So uh, one thing that I really love about this is that we have hanging loops here and there are little sets of bunting. So we've got our Merry with uh, twine through it. I need to cut my twine a little bit longer but again we're making these mistakes <laughs> so you don't have to. And a Christmas and that when I've used wire on and if you've watched Hannah do any of um, her lives you know that she's really good at doing twirls on the end of the wire to keep things in place uh, you can check back on our Facebook page to have a look at some of those lives where she's done that and um, they make really nice decorations there'll be a set with of bunting with a happy birthday set mm -hmm. um, we're hoping to have one with the Mother's Day Father's Day Father's Day Easter Easter every not, holiday every holiday we also thought it'd be a great idea to be able to personalise the, uh, the bunting, so you could have like Ben's birthday, Lizzie's birthday, Sasha's birthday. Mama's um, birthday. It probably will be limited by how much you could fit, because you, you probably would have to fit birthday at the bottom and then even at the top. But I mean, we could always figure out, maybe have a, a sign and then mm -hmm. they could shrink the font. That could work. So yeah, like if, you know, if, it, if, 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 it's, if it's not gonna work as bunting, we can also make it as a small sign that can hang. Or a signpost at the front or something. Yeah, I mean, we, we can we can mod it to, to your to your needs. I mean, it's, it's a new product to us. We're really excited about it. And because it's so new, we're, we're really flexible about kind of things that we can do to make it special. But we want to get it out there quickly so that you guys can have it in time for Halloween, for Christmas, and start decorating and kind of making it your own. Yeah. And any questions, any queries, as always, drop us a comment in the comment section on here you can send us a message on facebook you can drop us an email and um, we're always happy to help you so thank you for watching and have a good day take care bye, bye.